Alright, hello everybody, welcome to the Psionic Aftermath vs. Validity Gaming Clan War. Today, I am with two other friends, um, Snoopy and Warhawk from Validity Gaming, and today we will be casting um, the Clan War. So, welcome guys. Thank you. Hey. I'd like to take this moment to say thank you for doing the Clan War with us. We are now one and one in Clan Wars against each other. Yeah, I've got to get that rivalry going. <laughs> tied. <laughs> it's a friendly rivalry. It's like sure. <laughs> Just... The best rivalries are the friendly ones. Okay, so you I'll... guys have the party ready? Yeah. Uh, invite your suggest your first player. I'll get him in here, and then I'll create it on Darkness Sanctuary. Going to be our first map because Gorgonos was so kind and gave us the first map pick, and our player pick Darkness Sanctuary for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, Snoopy, can you suggest? Him? Wait a second. Who is he? Uh, okay. Um, is if I were soup, if I were soup, right? Okay. Um, sorry about that. He's Protoss, if I recall, right? Um, does he? Where is if I were a soup? Uh, he's um, he's asking what chat channel. Oh, just just ask him. <laughs> I'll just invite him. Oh, sorry, I got him. Was he not right? Oh yeah, he is, okay. Uh, he is a toss. <clears throat> I love TVP so much. <laughs> and so the first map is, what is it gonna be? Darkness Sanctuary, I'll create it right now. I'm not very familiar with these maps at all. Have you not played in the map, new map pool yet? No. I, don't... I went on a ladder grind today, and I won majority of my games, but I, the, the last game I lost, I was so done with it, I was just like, what the heck? Um, I got like proxy BC or something like that, and I lost to it, I was like a little bit tilted by that, so I just stopped. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Snoopy, you think this is going to be the um, ladder season that can push you over the edge to GM? <laughs> <laughs> I had to play a lot of games. <laughs> I was just seeing that I I thought you were masters too. Then I look at your profile and I'm like, wow, I'm one. <laughs> yeah. Um. I I I was masters one last season, but I uh, I guess because we we haven't really accounted each other for like a few months now. Like I think our last cast was like in like January or February or something like that. Yeah. Together. It's, it's been too long. A long. Yeah. Time. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're gonna be loading into game number one. On Darkness Sanctuary. <clears throat> now, this is a four player map, so it's gonna be really awkward. It's gonna be who finds who first. So this kinda limits proxies, because you can you can take a guess of like a proxy location, but you never know where your opponent is for sure. So mm -hmm. looks like we'll be in for a macro game. 
to look in front of each other. And I believe this is the four player map, right? Like yep. four, yeah, so this got this is gonna be uh going back into the old days where there was four uh, four player maps were actually common. Whirlwind was the best four player map. Oh yeah, I remember that. Whirlwind's like so good because it was that it's it was like a pretty balanced four player map. This map, I don't know, because him like for example, if they're horizontal from each other, then all or sorry, vertical from each other, the whole one side will just be like either A can be used for hidden bases, or something can be like hidden over there. I don't know, so it's all gonna come down to where they spawn. Who be too? It's got a pretty short rush distance as well if they spawn close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Almost like that. What was that map a couple years ago? Uh, Boardwalk. Um. No. Oh. It was before that. Boardwalk. I can't remember it. Was but... it a four-player map? Yeah, I think it was. No. Well, no, it was Catalina, wasn't it? Because Catalina was a three-player map that came out two years ago. Yeah, it might yeah. might have been that. I just I I don't remember maps too very well, but. I remember there's that... so many. Yeah, there, I think throughout the whole years of StarCraft, there's been so many maps that it's hard to keep track. Yeah, <laughs> especially, and then confusing them with maps from other games is tough too. So, <laughs> ah, all right. So these are. This is both our D3 set. This clan war, of course, is a diamond clan war. We've got D3s, D2s, and our ace match is D1. And of course, this is a best of seven ace with an ace match. All right. All right. So, here, spawning at the bottom left, we have the yellow Protoss representing Psionic Aftermath. It is If I Were a Soup. I don't know. I just got a smile when he said that. Oh, wait. What's that? <laughs> if I were a soup. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm spawning. And the right hand side, or upper right hand side, who's really zoomed out for whatever reason. It is <laughs> Blooming Gaming's Cyborg! That's a really cool intro. Quick <laughs> enough, good job. Thanks. Uh, fun fact Cybogu, zoom in a little bit. Like, go back in and then zoom out when the action happens. Um, fun fact Cybogu actually means cyborg in Korean. Oh, interesting. Mm. You can kind of see that, I guess. So well, that's how it sounds in Korean. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like if I were a soup, just blindly gonna go ahead and scout in the correct position, the cross position. Uh, so lucky for him, and he's gonna go ahead and see that there's not anything too crazy from from Sal Sal. Uh, how do you say it? Cyborg. Okay. cyborg. Okay. All right, yeah. cyborg. <laughs> So we did, we did get the far position spawns. What do you guys think is going to be the consequence of that spawn as far as um, what this game is going to turn out to be? Positioning. For example, if there's a huge battle, right? Click. I can't ping. But this middle watch, Zognaga Watchtower, you could have, an ar ar for example, if, some, if someone's like holding that with like their entire army, and someone can get positioned like at all the four corners of right there, and kind of concave, so that can mean the difference. But it's all going to come down to positioning. And of course, there is the bushes and the fog of war, so they're not going to be able to see each other through those things unless they have air. So it will be a little bit. So the fights, it's all going to come down to positioning, I feel. And also the positioning of which base they decide to choose for the third and fourth bases, because when you're going in the. You spawn vertically or horizontally, you usually just spawn the other way around. Um, but with the cross position, it's going to be interesting to see how they, uh, they, you know, what base they choose as the third and fourth. And the reaver from Saibogu is, of course, um, uh, if, um, he has a lot of bases to scout, so it's going to arrive super late. So if I were soup, might even have two stalkers out and might be able to snipe it by the time it comes. I, I, I like the reaper. Uh, I think, it's, of course, every, it's a standard reaper expand, but... I feel like that Reaper could have literally hit the bases from like went left and then went down. Because with the process of elimination, you could not save that Reaper and it would be faster. Instead of checking both these locations, it's just gonna keep him in the darkness for a little bit lo longer. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unluckily for uh, Cyborg here, he's gonna go ahead and 
scout if I were at the last possible position. Uh, looks like he's gonna. If I was gonna go ahead and get a robo, and so he's gonna go for a robo tech here. See what he's gonna go for. Maybe some uh, war prism harass or something or observer. Saibogu is going for two reactors, and he has tank tech on the way. So looks like going for some marine tank style. Oh yes, I remember this. He played. Uh, he played in the last clan war, I think, against you guys against War Buffalo. I don't know. He played. I don't know if it was you guys, but he does this tank timing, um, and it hits super hard. It basically, it's kind of back, I don't, I don't want to say the Wings of Liberty style, but it is kind of a little bit, where it's, it's a little bit of a later stim pack, and basically you just kind of have like a more frontal army that just moves across the map and you do damage off that. Uh, but I don't actually like this uh, decision by Cyborg, because Tank and Marine, just based on their spawning position, it's like they, they gotta walk all the way across the map. It's kind of a yeah. delayed attack. Um, I think it would have been better if he actually proxied the factory and actually got the tank out. And so he can attack even faster than, than right now. He just kind of just like a positioning at the middle there. I agree with your statement, but what, did he have the factory down before he scouted? Um, if I were super after, because that... Pretty close. That's, yeah. Anyway, he's producing an art tank, four marines, and to defend, uh, if I were to assume, has six stalkers, which should shut this down pretty hard. If uh, I think if the tank gets sieged, Cyborg will be fine, but this, but these stalkers, if, for example, the tank sieges on this ramp and the stalkers have to move down the ramp, they're going to be all clumped up and the tank is going to do more than it needs to do, so. Just some light harass from both players. Not all in by any means, but just something to be aware of. Mm -hmm. But the second ah, but the immortal should honestly just shut, shut this down. If I were a soup, jumping forward, sniping that one tank, only shield damage on his stalkers. The shield battery yeah. energy is tapped out though. Yeah, but I don't think so. I think Cyborg's gonna be broken here. Not like killed, but like his army is his attacking side. He just needs to run these marines home. Um, I think it's starport with the tech lab, or not a tech lab reactor, excuse me, along with two more racks. So he will be going into some bio tank play with the armory so he can get his plus two on the way. Um, Snoopy getting, or not Snoopy, sorry about that. <laughs> Fire and Snoop getting storm. <laughs> oh man. Snoopy, Snoopy would be like taking his fifth by now. <laughs> Maxed. Dead even in supply though, and if I were a soup is floating quite a bit of minerals. He's supply blocked as well, so Macaring is suffering quite a bit here. And this push out uh, could have been a lot stronger, but he missed a couple rounds of stalker warp ins due to him being supply blocked um, a couple times actually. I like this tech or like the fast storm. This this is very useful. Um I gotta remember this if I play him. But the storm is really good, especially. Yeah, I want to say Cyborg could punish him for this if he had like a bigger army and some medivacs and stem complete. He could have stem in before it's done. But now that storm is finished, he's gonna have these high templars getting energy, and all of a sudden Cyborg's army doesn't look as scary as it used to be. Yeah, but the charge is a little bit delayed there. Finally, get the charge. I think charge is the more important, you know, up, uh, I guess upgrade to get against a marine tank push because. You can still survive with just Stalker and Charge Lot, um, but with uh, just Stalkers and Storm, I think it's a little bit more scarier. But I think it uh, looks like Cyborg is not actually looking to attack, so I think the charge will be finished by then. Yeah, falling apart or not really making any more workers, so this is all going to be production. It looks like he will be taking his third soon as he has those SCVs kind of mining from it, and his third is, excuse me, three quarters of the way complete. But this is actually a pretty scary army coming from Cy Cyborg, so these tanks need to be sieged up and zone out these high tempos. So if these high tempos get a few good storms, then so you know the entire army of Cyborgs is dead and it's just tanks. Um, yeah, and the, more... the, the upgrade advantage actually goes to Cyborg uh, right now because he's at plus one right now, so that's going to help uh, in, during the fight. Alright, but that observer is scouting that the army is going over for the left flag and to engage to... Uh, 
Third, with three shield batteries, that is a lot of investment, but I think this actually might be good, considering if it can heal up these uh, units as soon as the tank sees it. Excuse me, Liberate coming in here. The tank sees siege right now. A big stem, and there's still no storm. Oh, oh, wow. That was a big storm. And Cyborg just trying to heal up, but these tanks actually taking some pretty good shots. And with the army rally across the map in another huge wave with four Marines and our tank, he's actually slowly starting to break this. But if I were to he's gonna uh, regroup with his army and gonna see, try to stabilize. He is ahead, so Cyber needs to get something done with this, or if I were to we'll start um, rolling him. Okay, Storm is doing really good here, but Fire Soup has also moved commanding quite a bit. He lost a ton of his army there, but this will get pushed back. Um, but meanwhile, oh, Saibogu... Oh, the tank? Okay, oh, got, did he nice. Get the tank? Did he yeah. get the tank? Yes. He saved the tank. Oh, he did? It's not it. Oh, Point. oh. Where, where is it? Which, oh. Oh, it's not, it's not in the Metavax. He it died? Yeah. It died. Oh, what? wow. It, it didn't even show an animation or anything. It just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> the army kind of just deleted itself, but that's okay. <laughs> But Cyber are gonna catch up um in Rogus here, five more High Templar on the way. Um but uh if I were a soup actually kind of, needs to add on some more gateways or maybe even a fourth, he's starting to flow two thousand minerals. Um Cyborg got gonna add on three more racks and cuss up on the way. Um third with the mules on it, and we transfer some workers over from the natural to the third, and plus one armor, armor is on the way. So. Oh, liberate, liberate siege up at the natural up, if I were a suit. Especially how many pokes he's gonna get. So far, three, four. Maybe okay, five? Four. Okay, he's gonna back, uh, is he gonna back I off? I'd go for the main. Yeah, main. The oh, oh, some more probe kills. kills. Six, I think if Cyborg saves his liberator, uh, but still just kind of warping in stalkers, not really moving anything. That Liberator gonna get picked off, but it's already done its damage. So, overall, really good Liberator. Uh, I'm gonna try getting one more. No. Del mine, um, delayed mining time um, as well. Fyrus who pulled his probes a couple times and taking them a while to get them back mining. His fourth is super delayed as well. And his gate production has not been super good but um look Saibogu on the other hand actually has been pretty on top of it um not floating a lot at all and this push out is pretty good they're about even in supply oh but this time Cy Cyborg is gonna get plus two during the attack while the upgrades oh were... and plus one armor yeah. yeah plus one of um if I were soup not done yet only has one forge, stacked the upgrades instead of dispersing them. Um, but it looks like Fire Soup has some um, has an observer out, actually a spotter pylon. We'll move his army over to the fourth, and we'll take a defensive position. And Charge Lord Archon is quite good against this, against the Terran army if it's not sieged. Oh, but there's like only three high tempos. I think he needs a bit more there. Oh wow, here we go. Oh, oh but those storms. <laughs> Storm to win there. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> oh, oh wow. That GG. Was called. I don't think it was GG there in my opinion. And I'm up next. Uh, <laughs> Alright. I pick Acid Plant. Also, who, do you, who do I pass off ref to? Uh, you can... Yes. Yeah. Alright. Um... I just quickly create it. Uh, will this be the man I'll kill? Probably not. I'm probably gonna get creamed. Okay, looks like my game is taking a while to load. Also, well, Gorgonoth, your, your your vision was like really zoomed out. I don't I don't know what everyone else wants, but it seems like it's a little bit. Would you like it zoomed in a little bit more? Yeah, I think it was just like a little bit better considering. You're so far out, and there's not. It was no one was really max, so it's kind of you just kind of saw like whole bases. I kind of like that though. So it's up to you. I don't really care. But. Yeah, I mean, I it seems like if I keep it zoomed in, there's always a couple people asking for to zoom out, and if and if I keep it zoomed in, there's a couple people asking to zoom out. I can move it in maybe to the middle notch. Maybe that'd be yeah. better. Yeah, well, the middle a, notch would be good. 
Right. Yeah, usually in, the, usually in the beginning when there's like not a lot ha happening, I would keep it maybe uh, zoomed in for a while. But then I think once it goes to the mid to late game, I think being zoomed out is better because, you, you know, there's a lot more army and a lot more skirmishes. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's yeah. Not... yeah. Uh, if I were a soup needs to ready up, I'll leave the Discord as soon as we get in the game. Okay. Maybe he's just uh, taking us taking a bite of a soup before he starts the second game. You know, this is like a spinach for Popeye. I know it's, it's he never finishes the sentence. If if I, if he was a soup, what soup would he be? <laughs> yeah. What's the, what soup would you be? A you what? I I would be chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. I like ramen Minest soup. Minest oh, that's nice. Minestrone. It's good. I ate way too much ramen soup. Yeah. Like, it's healthy, right? As a vegetable, I mean, has, like... Well, minestrone soup is very healthy. Oh, is ramen soup healthy? I have no idea. I don't know, it's noodles, so that's... I don't know. It's salty, which means it has a lot of vitamins. <laughs> exactly. Minestrone just has, like, a lot of... It has, like, carrots, tomato, spinach. Beans. It's really good. Um, so, I, okay, if I were soup told me, no problem, I have pizza. I'm not sure, like, what that means, but... That's come already up, though. Oh, uh, he said, <laughs> what was that main issue you saw? Uh, okay. Is, the people said the video uh, was freezing. Um. Check if you're downloading stuff on your computer. It, I'm not, and, and I'm just getting the green bar the whole time. I think it might have just been one. And also the well, aspect ratio, like Snoop is going to ask you about this. Alright, re 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 again? Yeah. Like, so, I see how on the stream there's the black bars on the side. Mm-hmm. Is that because of my monitor? Like, can I change no, that? Not... Yeah, oh. well, no, it's uh, because you your output um, resolution isn't uh, 16 by 9 ratio. So you need to set it at, like, uh, 720 Quickly stop and restart it. Quickly stop it, go into settings, go into... Advanced change or I don't know. I don't know if it's advanced, but go into like the resolution change it to 19 I don't know what you want, but like uh, 1280 12, by 720 Yeah, 1280 by 720 is good or 1920 by 1080 whatever you want Well, you can do it for next. I don't know you want to like no, I'm not next... gonna stop it I'll just do it for next time because okay, yeah, I I messed so, around so... Uh -huh. So I messed around with it a couple times, but I couldn't get the black bars to go away, which means I don't, don't really okay, know what I'm doing. Yeah. So basically, you just go to settings, go to video tab. Uh, you have your base canvas resolution, which is your own monitor's resolution, and then there's the output scaled resolution, which you changed it to, uh, which you would change it to, seven. Uh, I mean, 1280 by 720, which is 720p, which is the 16 by 9 ratio, which will eliminate the black bar. All right. Awesome. Should, so that's the I've output. I've actually played one of. I played one of your players earlier on ladder today. We're everywhere, man. <laughs> it was Xenodactyl. <laughs> nah, it wasn't Xenodactyl. I forget who it was. I don't know. I, I, I said good luck in the clan war tonight. Or I said, like, told the, your team that I said good luck or whatever. Because I played him. It was a TVZ and I beat and I won. I was actually at a friend's house the other day and they were queuing up in SC2. And it matched against um, Xenodactyl. And I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Be like, hey, I'm hardball. watching you play. <laughs> All right. Uh... Oh, hey, th thanks, Landfear, for uh, cheering on in the Twitch chat. So we also got Snap and um, Chronotrons as well. All right, I gotta leave. See you, boys. I'll talk to you guys after when I lose. See ya. All right. All right see ya. Yes, yeah, see ya. All right, so if I were a soup, he's gonna be playing what game star? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was not the right <laughs> setting. Did I accidentally press start? Yeah. Leave. Being told to leave. No, leave the lobby. Because okay. uh, <laughs> yeah, we gotta remake him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. You don't want to see me play such so a brood war player. <laughs> or do we? <laughs> Rip hashtag remastered brood war channel. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I need to play. Oh my god, again? What? What's the problem? <laughs> I'm quitting. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Technical uh, difficulties me... with the starting. Let me go ahead and reinvite you to the game. Oh wait, are, are you in the... Uh, I I'm sorry. You. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there we go. I invited Gorgonos. Gorgonos. I accepted. I'm pending. Uh, remember, is... remember to uh, make uh, me and Gorgonoth a uh, referee so we can... Uh... Here, Gorgonoth, leave, leave the party for a sec. I'm going to remove you from party for a brief second, okay? Well, I'm going to remove you. I'm going to invite you to the game. Then I'm going to reinvite you to the party. Okay. S sounds good. Okay, I'm having trouble opening StarCraft. Just one second. This is my bad. Yeah, everything was your fault. <laughs> everything was You're the one. Fault. That's right. That's right. Okay, we're going to do that. Everyone's going to the party. We're all leaving. I'll leave. Okay, my SA2 is freezing right now. Sorry. It's okay. Right. Just quit. I might have just dropped. I don't know. Okay, it might have just dropped out of SC2. Relog. Yeah, it's I'm going. It's a little bit slow. It's my computer's bottlenecked a little bit by the RAM. What's that? So that's why it's a little bit slow. How much uh RAM do you have? So yeah. basically I ordered the wrong type of RAM. <laughs> and I couldn't oh, return it, so I could only I think I only have like like six or eight, so it's really not a lot. Oh. And I was going to have, like, I think, like, 32 or something, but I ordered the wrong type, and it did not work. All right. Yeah, you got to order them in, like, a kit, like a two kit or something. Wait, you can't return it, though? Cause it was on see? eBay. I was stupid. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. If if it's not already evident, I'm not going right. to computers. I'm not gonna hit play right away. <laughs> okay, fire soup. That's that's okay. This is good, right? I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> Just kidding. This is good. All right, I'll see you boys. All right. Sorry about that little technical delay, but we uh, finally got the game started. So Warhawk, he's D3, so it's still kind of an even match for um, if I were Soup. Yeah, I would say like around D3, D2, there's not too much of a difference. So I think pretty much everyone will be on similar skill levels. I think it, it kind of deviates a little bit when it goes to towards the th uh, Diamond 1, I think, maybe. Hmm. So we're going to be on Acid Plant this time, a familiar map, which is nice. I took a look at some of the um, SC2 maps, because even though I don't play a ton of SC2, I should be up, and I saw Redshift, and I'm like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Warshift, a little bit of uh, a mistake there. <laughs> All right, so here at the top left, we have representing the uh, pink Terran player, um, part of Valor G, it is a Warhawk. And in the bottom, for Sonic Aftermath, up a game, the yellow Protoss, it's If I Were a Soup. Alright, uh... So, TVP uh, on Acid Plant. Now, Acid Plant is one of the maps that was from last season. So, that's why you, you guys are still seeing it here. Um, it's, it wasn't removed. Uh... I think it was Callus and Acid Plant were the two maps from last season that weren't removed. So, I mean, how, how, I don't know if you played a lot on Acid Plant, but what, what do you think of Acid Plant? I mean, I think it's pretty interesting. I, I, it doesn't seem a ton different than a normal two-player map. Um, got a pretty defendable third. Um, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, not a ton. It doesn't have any golds. So the expanding pattern is... Actually, I'm, I'm wrong. There are golds. Excuse me. They're in the middle, so they're not always taken. Yeah. Now, on this map, interestingly enough, uh, I taught this little trick by Vorzinodactyl is uh, just on the edge of the base, of the main base, there's this uh, area where you could actually wall off with like two pylons instead of three. So cannon rushes are uh, a bit more effective on this map. So, and you know, Xenodactyl is like the, is like he's like the print F prodigy. He yeah. He rushes almost every game. So he's, uh, he loves this map, I, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's a little bit of a tip there. It's funny cause, cause um, when uh, print F was playing in Philadelphia, now of course not in the, he, he did photon cannon, but in all the first rounds, he played standard macro. And I was like, why are you oh, doing wow. that? Why are you stopping? He's like, in tournaments, I always play macro because everyone loses to me then. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cheesiest wow. thing a macro play. A che cheesiest thing a cheese player can do is play macro. So. Yep. That's so funny. Saying that with his epic mustache. <laughs> Ten day growth. All right, looks like a Reaper from Warhawk gonna go into the base. Not gonna actually go commit too much. Now, this is one of the maps where there's no ramp area, so you can't really, you know, jump into the main. There's only one pathway, and it's through the natural, so it's easily defended against, uh, you know, things like Reapers. So Warhawk is going for a Cyclone push, which um, I've seen him play TVP um, a few times now. And cyclone pushes are something he's that's in his element. Yeah, I think even as a protest player, if you don't actually expect this, this can actually be hit really hard. Like you need like at least one or two uh, shield battery. Which, I, if I were a soup, luckily for him, he's actually blindly getting one uh, shield battery. So that's gonna allow him to actually to help defend against that the cyclone push. Yeah, and he is, did go robo as well. Um, which I guess nowadays Robo is pretty much the norm before Twilight, or is, is Twilight first still pretty more, pretty standard? Uh, I, th I see both interchangeably. Um, I feel, for me personally, I go for Twilight first because, you know, with the uh, Robo, the main thing about Robo was that uh, pre patch 4.0 was that you needed the observer to spot the uh, Widow Mines, but now that after uh, post patch 4.0, uh, widow mines they reveal themselves so you don't really mm. need the observer as much oh you hold that thought looks like a push from warhawk instantly throws down or will, will he throw down a shield battery he's i would get another one if i were him yep throw getting through throwing one down and he's also got an immortal on the way which he's will chronoing that out and um this push has four cyclones in it though oh not the best force field there Shield battery is holding this off a little bit, but oh man, all the army is dead, and this is uh, this is tough. Probes taking down one cyclone. Um, oh, they should have pulled back there. That was not advisable. Um, cyclones targeting. Uh, luckily, the um, shield battery that does not have power, and the immortal looks like he will clean this up. I think a lot of those probes were unnecessarily lost. Yeah, I would say so, and especially. This is a big loss because, uh, you know, in the early game, you want to be a little bit ahead of the Terran player just because of the Muse. And Warhawk already having his third CC there, so that's a big advantage in terms of the economy for Warhawk. Yeah, and Warhawk is a three, third CC. Now, one of the nice things about um, if I were to getting that fast obs is that he, he will see this, so he knows that if he doesn't um, try to punish Warhawk a little bit, that Warhawk's going to be in a really good economic position. And he's getting Charge and Templar Archives, so, you know, probably Charge a lot of Archon, just his um, bread and butter PVT. Uh, interesting that he, for both games, if I were Soup, has gotten really fast Templar Archive. It seems like that's, like, something that he likes to do. Yeah, one thing I uh, miss about... Um, from Bru I guess I don't see it carried over from into SE2 from Brood War Storm Drops. Don't see that as much. Oh yeah, that's true. I just I wish that more players would do that, especially at this level. I mean, 
you know, uh, players are not super diligent about pulling their SCVs. Mm -hmm. So I think um, Storm Drops is really underutilized by Proto SC2 players. Just yeah. my opinion. I think it, it maybe it's because it takes a lot of micro sometimes. Um, sure. You got to micro your uh, War Prism and then Storm and then load them up. And then you got macro at the same time. You know, a lot of different things happening. So if I were a soup, um, his ma as far as this game, his macro's been a lot better. Um, hitting the probe cycles pretty well. Um, up to a decent number of gates. And yeah, getting that really fast storm as well. Now we've got a marine force out for um, uh, Warhawk. Now that is scouted by the observer, so that's nice. And he has some high templars, so he's going to have two storms in this army. And if Warhawk's not paying attention, this could be devastating. Oh, wow. That's a, a huge storm right there. And I think this is going to allow him to maybe... Yeah, he's going to push that, him back. Um, but again, he still is not on a third base here. He still has not made it yet. He's on two base against three base of Warhawk. Warhawk just picked up and is going in for a drop, although the Observer did see that. It's coming in and he will intercept that. Unfortunately, there's only one Stalker, so it can't do anything. Oh. Might have to recall. Yeah, he's gonna recall. Now the Stalker did pick off one of the medevacs. This is huge. This force will get mopped. Luckily, that one yeah. medevac will get away. Yeah, if you had one more feedback, that would have uh, killed that medevac. And this observer from If I Were Soup is just getting so much value. Yeah, if game. he, if if, uh, if I Were Soup, if he wins, then uh, we know who the MVP is of this game. <laughs> They should have like a, a kills distributed to. Well, that would not make sense, but. <laughs> An assist. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, finally, uh, if I were to finally going to get that third base, so a little bit late, but better late than never, I would say. Yeah. His gate count's really low as well. I mean, at this point in the game, uh, three base Terran, you have four gates. That's not good. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just because his third was so late, but um, yeah, so if I were Hoop's defense has been really good, but he hasn't really harassed at all. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of hard because uh, after that opening when he was uh, he got killed by all those cyclones, that kind of set him back a uh, big time. So I think at this point, he's been trying to just just build up to a tank, I mean to tech into uh, high templars and try to survive by then but i think as the game goes on and on it looks like warhawk is getting get more ahead because he just you know he can, he can, uh, economy wise he's just getting further and further ahead okay now i really like this from soup he's a double expanding and he's got a really high templar count so he's been really effective and he's got his head templars on the high ground now the bio is stemming in how good this will the storms be Blood a couple, um, ooh, whiff the storm. Getting good mining this whole time, though, and looks like this force is dancing around a little bit. Okay, not, not the best storms. Oh, that's a good storm, though. Although, um, if I were Soup's not trading extremely cleanly, there's gonna be some good storms. Good stutter oh, step okay. by Warhawk. Yeah. Oh boy, but that look at that second wave of reinforcement. That's that's gonna be tough. Yeah, the Azelt's not engaging super well with the storm. He needs some stalkers in this mix as well. Doesn't mm -hmm. really have the gates to back it up though. Still, oh, man, this. This is going to be tough. It's like 103 army supply to 50. Almost du just doubling the supply of uh, of the power soup. So he's going to have to get some really money storm. And that he's got that money storm right there. He's going to have to continue to do that. He's got six gates on the way. Um, but, you know, like you said, the mana on the High Templars is, is pretty much the only thing he has going for him. And here we go. A good storm there. Um, not so good on the second one. The Deliberator is up, so it can start sniping some of those High Templars. Okay, and there's the Stalkers being warped in. Late. Um, and now the Liberators are coming in, and the Storms are good, though. 
Oh, yeah. Stalkers need to get out of the liberation zones. Picking off some of the liberators. There's a few storms left. Um, actually, kind of... Oh, okay, the, the few, a few connect. And it looks like Warhawk's going to retreat with this or wait for reinforcements. And now the 4th um, is up for Fire Soup. He needs to transfer some probes. And now he finally has the gate count. Oh, yeah, the gates are finally warping into the warp gate, so he's going to get a lot more reinforcement. But he's banking a lot. 2.3k minutes, 2.4 now, uh, with 1.8 gas, so got to spend that money right there. Yeah, this warping is going to be crucial. He needs to warp in before this attack happens. Warping in a lot of High Templars, which um, is probably going to have to warp, um, warp into Archons at this point. He doesn't have time to let them regen mana. Yeah, I th yeah, this is the best move that he can make at this point. Uh, that third is going to have to go down. Got to evacuate the probes and try to, you know, build up that energy on the High Templars to, you know, engage that against that army. But that army is really strong, it looks like. Yes, yeah, plus one. And, yeah, the army supply is still, you know, twice the amount of, uh, of the, if I were a suit. He's warping in a little bit. Um, he needs to be on his warpins. Yeah, with this amount of gas, I mean, minerals banked up, I, I would like him to actually throw down another Nexus just to kind of stay even with the turn player. Okay, oh! Decent. Okay, I think... If I were soup, might actually have this defense because if you look at the medevacs, they're all out of energy. Yeah, the storms so, are being so cost effective. Yeah. A few storm and this can actually be... Oh, wow. Charging uh, into the liberation zones. Good storms. And there's so oh. many storms. And all of a sudden, the, e the supplies are even. Wow. Yeah, Soup needs to warp in and push at that fourth. Yeah, I mean, he just got to spend his money. <laughs> Look at that bank. <laughs> Macro not quite there. You know, at this point, uh, he might have to change his name from if I were Soup to if I were rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, it looks like we've I got a um, uh, War Prism heading across the map, and he's got a Dark Shrine almost done. So we finally might see some harass. Um, oh, yeah. There's actually no turrets at all in any of the bases. Yeah, that's a naked mineral line. And Oh, no. I, I think he just spent a lot of... Oh, wait, did he just... Okay, never mind. I think he has a good amount of energy still, but... Okay, warping in, like so many DTs, but it looks like the medevacs are going to come in, and they won't see oh. the DTs directly, though. Okay, uh, going into the line, let's see how fast does Warhawk pull. Oh my goodness, DT is getting free reign. He misses the scan too. Oh wow. And looks like the um, other DTs of I for Life going, going into the fourth. So far, 20 SEVs going down. That Ooh. nice move. Juked him out with the two High Templars into the third and now he's got into the army. Let's pull this back and morph him into Archons. Oh man, this, yeah, this is kind of almost game, th game ending damage, but Again, again with Terran, they have Mew, so oh my can't goodness. ever come down. Uh, oh, and finally, cleaning up the DTs. But damn, 36 SCVs going down. This is this is so crazy. I mean, one DT Warbit is now going to end the game. Still no blink, so he's going to um, not be able to catch those medevacs. Okay, will he actually recall like last time? Or will he just rely on DT? Oh, the Dark Shrine getting focus fired. And he will recall like last time. I think that was a bit of a waste of a recall. I don't know. Could have just yeah. Warped. That's true. Yes, Soup push needs to just push out now. Okay, so he I guess he just recalled only half his army, which is smart. But still a little bit over overkill. I don't think he needed that much. Um, yeah, it looks like yeah he's he's got a really good army so far. Um, I think he should push out. Oh, actually no, actually both players are pushing out. They might actually completely miss each other. Oh wait, actually meet each other in the in the middle of the map. Okay, how good will the storms be? 
Uh, now the army is kind of piecemeal for soup. Needs to be careful. Needs to get a war prism up here. He's been able to cut into his bank a bit. Oh, okay, now the liberators and Medivac though are in the wrong spot. <gasps> oh wow, that's a big pickoff right there. Oh, that, that was okay. Now it looks like there was a drop from Warhawk though, and it's getting a decent amount of probes. But it uh, looks like I fire soup going it's going into the fourth. Oh man, I think if I was, it just has a way superior army. Look at all those high top levels, full energy. That's some scary army right there. Okay, so Warhawk will get the the fourth off uh, if I were soup, but I think it's still okay because they just trade their base. And here we go, Bao trying to kite against these Zelots. No storm yet, but these these Metaracks are all out of energy, so this is pretty much you gotta stim carefully. And he doesn't even have to really conserve his storm. This is just blanket storm mode. Yeah, he has storm. Uh, yeah, plenty of storm to cast. And yeah, that looks like all his army is dead. And if I were a suit, takes out Warhawk going on the 2 0 winning streak. Nice. I feel like I may have could have won that game if I didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> you you were definitely ahead after the the cyclone. Uh, did so much damage. Uh, I, I I know I was ahead, and then I was yeah. just like, and then I waited too long. I think I needed to pull the trigger more. Or tr pull the trigger faster. It was it was just the uh, I mean the main thing was even after that you lost thirty six you know SEVs that was the big thing. DTs are good. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> DTs are good. Well, actually, you no. Know, I think you could still uh, still could have won if you just like uh, split your bio army against the storm because yeah in the, in the early game he didn't have like too much storms. But I know yeah. I know I felt like I could have done better with that. I feel like yeah. I. Uh, I don't know. There's a point where I saw his army size and I looked at mine. I was like, eh. I mean, yeah, you definitely had your, your chance to win, though. So it's not like I know. Was, I threw. Yeah. I don't. I'm not saying I threw. He played yeah. exceptionally well. I think he just kind of came from behind and outplayed me. That's all it comes down to. Can you suggest make pick next map? Oh yeah, I gotta suggest next player. We'll What's play. That? We'll play both of you guys. Thank you. All right. So if I were a soup, which reminds me, like. Wait, who is he who's he playing next? Is he playing a D he's playing a D two, right? Whoa. I have no idea. Just <clears throat> What's that? I just spilled something all over my desk. That's great. <laughs> really great. Oh, no. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Good. My stuff wet. That's nice. Let's invite him. Alright. Okay, he joined. Uh... I believe, um, is Soup British? Is he, um... Uh, I don't think so. Is he not? No, uh, I don't for some reason, think so. I associated him with Volticus, like, back in the day. So I, I just thought he was British. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, he's N.A., so definitely not British. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. In my mind, I had him and Volticus as one back in that season 16 CTL days. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm, I'm getting pretty excited for the next season of CTL. Yeah, yeah, it's happening uh, pretty soon, so. Yeah. Okay, Catalyst it is. Alright, Catalyst. Make, yeah, make, or actually quickly pass it here. I'll oh. quickly, I, or, yeah, oh. WCS game. Right. No, 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 it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you had the WCS mod. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll pass it to you either way. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. I gotta quickly, I gotta quickly go AFK. So hopefully, no, there's no cheese in this game. Oh, okay. It's uh... PVZ, I think. I don't know. And if I were soup. Everybody in the chat, please tell me if the mic sounds weird. If there's any background noise. Um, I it was sounding great. I decasted some rude like a couple days ago, and it sounded great. But I don't, I don't know if there's some sort of interference. All right, I'll be right back. All right. So, does the mic sound pretty good to you, Snoopy? Uh, yeah. There's no background noise. No, um, 
I think most of the background noise will come from my side. <laughs> okay. Because uh, I live next to a, a, a driveway, and so there's a lot of cars and ambulance and sirens. I meant, I meant not like um, I meant I what I meant is um, like in feedback, like humming in the back. Oh, I, um, so, sounds fine in my end. Uh, okay, because when I did a quick test on Audacity, like right before we started, I heard something or like a humming. Hopefully that went away. Uh. Uh, maybe if I increase the volume, I might hear it. But you can always watch the VOD and see, you know, see how it is. Yeah, I'll do that. So if I were soup, game three, nice. Yeah, um, yeah, he's playing really well, uh, getting the first two kills, and uh, yeah, Sionic at the math up two to zero against Valigi. We'll see if Valigi can uh, start a comeback here. Oh, wow. We actually have uh, 18 viewers right now in the Twitch. So uh, thank you all for uh, tuning in here. Snap and all the amazing guys in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Here, let's go ahead and introduce our players at the top left here. Oops. Uh, the pink Zerg representing Valagy is Rise. Rizei. 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 <laughs> Rise. And in the bottom here, the man who has single handedly won two games in a row. The yellow Protoss. It's if I were a soup. Alright, so uh Callus being one of the maps again that was also from last season. Uh it's one actually the uh, one of the maps that are that's close in terms of spawning position, like a biogenesis was. So this, you know, you can see a good amount of cheese, um, like 12 pool or 14 pool from Zerg against Protoss. But it looks like uh, Ryze is going to go ahead and elect to go for a normal build, macro build. Uh, just getting his hatchery there. Yeah, Catalyst, um, is it a, do you know, is there like a ladder number? Like, is it uh, Zerg favored? Uh... I, uh, I think it's one of the more well balanced maps. I think so balanced. besides, yeah, besides the early game, I guess. But I yeah, it's pretty much well balanced between all matchups. I, think, I feel. I remember, like back in the fall, basically, sort of when Dropper Lord became was sort of first being like super meta. This was a map that was so hard for Protoss because a lot of oh, airspace. Yeah. That's true. Uh, yeah, because just just based on the spawning position really easy to rush but then also the natural there's no high ground for the defender for the protoss so a lot of ling uh, all ends can do really well with the drop lords uh, as well but yeah they nerfed it so so happy about that <laughs> as a protoss yeah. player <laughs> Oh, look at that wall from if I were so I think I don't know if that's actually a really good wall. I don't think the stocking can fit, the, fit through there. I think a depth could, but oh, maybe man. a stock is too fat. Like between the cybernetic and gateway, I think. Is it a is it the pinched is it like a it's not a full hexagon, it's the pinched one? Yeah, like I like I, I think probes and like a depth can fit and Zella can fit, but I don't think the stalker and the mortar can fit there. Well he's gonna, he's building a stalker, so I guess we'll see. Yeah. And he's going Twilight Council first. Interesting. Ooh, changing. Oh, wait, actually, this is the first PBZ of the night. Everything else looks pretty normal. Oh, actually, I was wrong. It actually fits. Wow, nice. But I don't At think first it's... Wait, does, does it? I don't know. Archon At one. first glance. Yeah, Archon definitely won't. <laughs> they will have to go on the diet first. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do the shift. Slide them through. Um, He's getting charged first, so and he's getting a Robo facility, so maybe is he going for some sort of like um, Archon charge drop? We'll see. Or not Archon. I think just his reg regular charge up, because you, you see okay. he's actually um, pulled the probes off gas. He only has one on each. So he's definitely banking on the minerals. Definitely going to throw down some gateways soon and go for a warp prism. And I think just a charge lot all in or something. Hmm, interesting. 
Maybe an immortal. Sorry, everybody. I think it's a little bit laggy. Getting any lag? Uh, stream looks fine to me so far. Okay. I have it open, so I I'm looking at it. And it looks fine. All right. Cool. Okay, so this scoutingling killed by the stalker. And although the um, overseer comes in, and sees everything. Oh wow, that's some really quick glare there. Wow. And yeah, he just got, he's what's up. He's got all the scout he needed, and he's got roaches uh, on the way. Roach one, uh, definitely the way to go if you want to go against uh, charge lot or banelings. Uh, but I think sometimes uh, protests can split those zealots if they're good at their micro. And so, oh, we have a little bit of a. Oh yeah, it looks like you're lagging a little bit here. Uh, oh yeah, this guy froze a little bit. Oops. Hopefully it's uh not too. Is it bad. a drop or? Uh, count time is going is thirty five oh, seconds. Thirty one, thirty twenty nine, twenty eight. I'm in game. I don't know why it just froze. Oh, interesting. Well, if uh, you do end up dropping, we can always resume from replay, so. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Oh, you're back. Ooh. All right. Okay, that was close. Cool. Sorry about <laughs> that, everybody. 15, 14 seconds there. <laughs> wow, this is really laggy. Sorry, everybody. I mean, stuttering. Uh, not, it's not laggy, but it's just my computer's being slow. Oh, okay. Wait, didn't you uh, recently... Upgraded your computer or something? I or did, but I remember the RAM's bottlenecking everything right now. Uh, oh, okay, I... I see. I can't move in the game. Oh. That is... That's unfortunate. Uh, sorry. Let's Should go, Rize. Should we Carry. go the game? <laughs> Wait, what's, right. what's going on? Do just, we pause? No, just... just I, we had a, some bad lag. Sorry about that. It was, um... And, but it's it's better now. Okay, all right. Charge that uh, first wave of charge that. Um, trying to attack, but there's so many roaches here. I'm not sure if it's gonna actually work out. No, I think I, the roaches don't even need speed like this. Wow. Yeah, I think Rize, uh defended from what I saw. What like from just now, he defended pretty damn well. Um, missile attacks is gonna be. Finishing right now, and the Portos player is running out of juice. Yeah, I'm not even sure why. Uh, if I were soup, just needs to go for the straight for the drone line. And Rise, when you watch us later, I want to say thank you. If if you win this game, uh, thank you for carrying me. And I'm sorry, I'm a big noob. Okay, that's all I want to <laughs> say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean once once that attack you know kind of ends it's like really hard for the process because they you know remember they cut gasp uh, mining for for this uh all in here well, so yeah that's what happened to me i just kind of run out of gas yeah yeah i think yeah you're like you're like ready you're you're like and then <laughs> next thing you know you run out of juice and then you're done yeah it's just really hard to transition after this to a macro game uh yeah I, Yep, and Rize. GG. Ace right. game number three. All right, so uh, score is currently two to one, still in favor of Sionic Aftermath, but uh, looks like Valley G does get the first point on the scoreboard. Woo! No bias. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bias. I think Sionic Aftermath is a very good team. I'm, I'm, not, that's not, I'm not even just saying that. They're, they're very strong. All right, so who's our next player? I should supposed to know that, but let me just check. So it was supposed to be war buff, but he's not here. All right. Uh, no, it's not war buff. Uh, he couldn't play, so I replaced him uh, with someone else. Uh, and the ne next one is Lanthier, so let's go ahead have... and get. Oh, I have him on my friends list. Can you send me a party invite or party? Oh, no, not, no, not Lanthier. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not Lanthier. Um. No. It's uh, was uh, Fernie Wolf. Fernie Wolf. Yeah, is he on the clan chat? Wait, mm -hmm. Inferno. 
No, What's Fern Wolf. Fer oh, I see him. Oh. Fer okay. Fern and I are Wolf. Can you? I don't. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I was gonna ask for leader. It doesn't really matter though. Cause Landfear. Okay, Landfear's gonna play though, right? Wait, is he in the lineup? I'm supposed to know this. Anyway, uh, it's... no snaps playing. That's right. Yeah. Uh, can I be ref one again? Oh yeah. Sorry. Better. Sorry. Oh uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and pass the lead to you. I don't. It's not that big of a deal. Thank you, Snoopy, for taking over. I we'll have to go eat. Thank you. My mom, my mom understands when I'm at game now. She's just like, okay. And then <laughs> I, she just left my dinner out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <sighs> so chat, show your spirit. Tell us who you think is going to win this clan war or who you want to win this clan war. Um, this is all sex, people. Think no, and there's a no, couple. Stealth, people. Wangsta, no Loki, Dapt, and Crescent, Crescentental, no Loki, and Havoc. It's like all the um, sex people left. <laughs> yeah, Ele electrical skateboard is like a bot, and a, and he always just and every he's in the bots in every single stream, but doesn't count as weird. Just there, <laughs> just, like, I don't know. He just randomly comes in. That, oh, be... lost and found. Oh, this is a great map. I love this map so much. I, I don't know. I really like this map. Um, but sometimes I'm just like, uh, I get. I don't know. This map That's always a great makes me map a little bit description. nervous. I love this map, but sometimes I'm like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. In in all realness, yeah, this is a really good ma map. It reminds me a little bit of Blackpink, um, and a little bit of Catalyst. Just kind of, I don't know. It's like Catalyst. I don't know. It is kind of black pink, but it's kind of, it's different. It defies description. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they're, 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 all right. So you can either take your third in the front or third on the uh, left side. If you're on like, I'm just talking about like, if you're on the left hand corner. Um, and you can always um, take either direction. It doesn't really matter. I feel like Zergs take the um, go up or down, depending on where they spawn. Um, I, I take the front base because Terra, uh, as a Terran, you, uh, you have really good tank positioning because you can guard your natural and the third. If you put your um, tanks like in between the two, I don't know. So it's all going to come down to positioning. As you can see, there's uh, kind of rocks in the middle. Um, there's also a lot of looks. There looks like a lot of pathways, but there actually is is it like sometimes, for example. I know a couple. I know me. Um, there's like a couple cliffs, but the cliff looks exactly like a ramp until you walk up right next to it. Hmm. I yeah. don't know. To me, it actually, it almost. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Don't have a. Lot, don't. I've never played on it, so I don't have a ton of opinions. The fourth is really diff. It's for example, I think. For example, since I take the front, I take the down fourth, and then the then the upper left fifth. If we're talking about on the top, but I feel Zergs take that kind of, it's further away, but it's still horizontal, or vertical, sorry, so the creep can be spread there pretty easily. So, it's all gonna come down to who, who likes which expensive better, and it's actually gonna be a ZVZ, I just realized. Uh. Alright, so here, spawning at the bottom left, we have the blue Zerg, representing Sionic Aftermath, it is Fenry Wolf. Fen uh, Fen uh, yeah, people enjoy that. making names that are hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> and in the top right hand corner, it is Lily Gaming's Reezy! <laughs> people are like, you know what? I don't want, I don't have casters have a hard time saying my name, so screw you, casters. I'm gonna make my name of like four consonants in like one vowel. <laughs> Capitalize different parts of it. <laughs> Thank you, Adapt. I'll make sure to use my words next time. <laughs> uh, so, what you guys feeling about ZVZ? I like it. And that was a bad voice crap, but I like it. Uh, it's going to come down to Link Bane Warriors. I don't know how long those will last, but both players are actually going to go for a hatch first, and actually very standard from both ends. Uh, a seven... I, don't, I honestly can't tell the difference between hatches and whatnot. Like, the only two I can tell... I can tell the difference between, like, a 12 pool, 13, 12, and a 15 hatch, but I can't tell the difference of anything else. 
Yeah. Like, this looks normal to me. I don't know if there's any cheese, if there's any certain players. I don't think this is a cheese just by the looks of it, but I'm not the master here. Yeah, pool's about the same time. Yeah, pretty much the same. Except, yeah, exactly the same. Yeah. So, Snoopy, what's your thoughts on ZVZ or this map? Well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, usually ZVZ, it's either, you know, one Zerg goes for a really fast uh, rush or they just go for a really standard and it just becomes a either a Ling Bailing War or it becomes a uh, Roach War, R Roach Ravager War or something. Uh, and this map, actually, because of the pathing in terms of the ground, like it's kind of zigzaggy. Uh, it's not as common to rush, so, but, you know, basically yeah. go from a pretty standard build because of that. And also, I think for some reason, I feel like mutas on this map can actually do really well. I know it's not part of the meta, like not ca as common as like maybe uh, Ling, Bang Ling, and or Roach, but I feel like meta mutas will do pretty good on this map. Yeah, I played I played uh, against a mutas player the other day. Um, Mutas are good, I think it depends what race you're playing against. Because, for example, Terran, if they take the front base, like uh, Reese Face is doing right now, they take that base as their third. Uh, it's really easy, considering if you can have your Marines there, and then, of course, the Mutas have to fly right over top of that to get into your main. Or, unless they want to do for go for a little bit of flank. So, it comes down to the matchup, but also, I like what you're saying about how it comes down to a kind of a mirror matchup. Um, we get, for example, it's going to be Lane Bane Wars, so that'll go into Roach Ravager Wars, and it'll come down to Lit. Li Lurker positioning. It kind of just goes from there. Yeah. Looks like a Warhawk Sal is saying that um, you, you, you're challenging his title as intro hype king. So. Oh, that's... hey, Salavant <laughs> is uh, going to Twitch. Hey, hey Salavant. Uh, thank you, Salavant. That intro shook me to my core. <laughs> <laughs> you need to rethink about my life. <laughs> <laughs> I might need to up my uh, intro game here. Well, I can. Do we can cancel this hatch? Wow, this is gonna be or... a pretty big deal. Oh, oh he kills wow. it. Ooh. And no, ha no cancel too. Oh my god! <gasps> Beautiful bane connection. The bane's Ooh. trying to be picked off. The legs. Big, big connection again, but taking out quite a few of Reese's legs. Gonna set that queen, but the, leg, the legs are now completely up, but the drone's pulling the boys, trying to hold. And Reese slowly taking the lead. And uh, now it's up to you. And GG is called, and uh, yeah. Wow, wow what that happened? That was quickly. Uh, instead of a drone cycle, what uh, Reese went for a link cycle at, with 16 links, on, and uh, Frenner and Rolf went for a. Uh, Oh, he got supply blocks. Yeah, he was supply blocks. That's what happened. Yeah. Ah, I see. That's tough. <laughs> and now, we're tied up at two. GG. <laughs> wow, we have a series, guys. <laughs> what happened to Soup? Um, Soup won two great games, then he lost in a PvZ. He went He went for a... Um, I'm, I'm talking to Landfear. Uh, then he went for a charge lot push didn't work so it's only one diamond one by the way hmm it's one diamond one it's three diamond two threes and one diamond one is chrono times your diamond one because remember you have to wait we, remember we talked he said he, he was um d2 like three days ago oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah that's fine okay yeah, yeah, if it's good with you if it's not good with you we can scrap we can try to find somebody else but oh man Tired, even though it's really early. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it up to Rize. Well, I mean, if if you want somebody different, it could be kind of a hassle. That's why we confirmed it in the beginning. Yeah. Snap. Sal, man, has Sal um casted in a while? I haven't seen him. Uh. You not... guys were like the casting. <laughs> yeah, not recently. Okay. He said he doesn't care. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hopefully, in the near future. 
Yeah, we cast it so much that we even have a like a ship name, you know, Sal Loopy. Sal Loopy, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. Oh, I thought it was Sally. I thought it was Snoopy and Woodstock. <laughs> Snoopy. <laughs> All right. Uh. Sixteen, All right, 16 bit. bit. All right. So what? What race is Chronotons? I can't remember. Is he Terran? I honestly can't remember. Uh, he's Dirk. So we're gonna have another ZVZ here. Let's see if he has some better luck. Let's let's not start it right away. <laughs> <laughs> Finger on the Q trig. Oh, and it's another ZVZ. <laughs> So tied two two. I feel like that ha this happened to us all the time. Um, in both of the previous clan wars, we got a good start and then it fizzled, and then we either won or lost in the match point. Well, all our clan wars have been close. It always goes to game seven. Yeah, we've got. It's not even an understatement. I I don't think we played a clan war that hasn't gone to game seven. Maybe game six and someone won, but I'm not. I'm, it goes late. It's not like a 4-0 or anything, so I think that's what makes the clan runs really fun, is that we're so evenly matched as a clan v clan, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe you guys are just like, we're way better than you, and I'm just like, alright. <laughs> Sykes are the biggest egos in, in the business, so. <laughs> no, just kidding. Alright. Shnope, are you gonna cast, give us intro for... Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I got a message by a friend. Uh, so, anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and introduce our players. It is at the top right. We have... Oh, wait, actually, I got a match uh, Warhawks introduction. Oh, here. man, my mouse finger's getting tired. All right, here we go. <laughs> Come on, dude. Morning. At the top right, we have the Blue Zerg. Rip the Zerg. Sorry, I got the match. It is Chrono Time. All right, so a that's plus. Be. A plus. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> In the bottom left-hand corner, as the Pink Zerg player, he is Blue Gaming's Raise Day. <laughs> a plus, both job, both guys. Oh man. Okay. Now, if that made you motion sick, that I succeeded. Yeah, um, I'm lightheaded now. I see. I, I see the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, um, importantly though, Chronotrons, um, we're playing standard, but it's Rize who went for a fast pool. It's a 1312, I think. Ah, uh, I don't know. Wait, is this a 15 hatch from Chronotrons? No? No, the, if it was a 15 hatch, the hatch has to be a 15. It's like a 13 hatch, 15. I think. I believe? No? Yes? Anyway, we don't understand CVC, that's all that matters. Well, anyway. <laughs> Rize went for a fast pool, is what I'm saying. That was the yeah, thing to do. Yeah, Rize definitely went for a fast pool. Um, but Chronotron's getting his speed faster. So, I don't understand exactly what's going on. Maybe Rize just didn't start it. Well, he's getting his lings out faster, but... Well, it looks like the chat is now, because this, this is a little delay. They're now seeing the intro. Yeah, it's for a 90 second. That's the thing I, I, just, I dislike the 90 second delay. I mean, I know it's to keep it all above board, but it's hard to hard to interact with people when it's. As long as you say things like, who do you want to win? Like, yeah, it's true. It can be a set any time. I guess it's more important to preserve the purity of the game. Yeah. Something I just followed this now to your channel. I don't know why I wasn't followed before. I swear to God I was, but... Wait, the Mike Gorgonath, my Twitch, or the Sonic Aftermath? I think I followed to your Twitch, but I, now I just followed to the Sonic Aftermath. After my other one, I only guess Brood War on, so that one's... Most people. Hey, yeah, two drones going down. And mm. with... You have actually a lot. Spot for drones. But, yeah. BZ has a main that, so this is going to get very interesting. I, I'm... I, I'm really at a loss. Rize, um, what what his plan was um, in this because his speed's late and so oh was his God, sling you... production so I don't get it. 
Rizzo actually didn't see the lane move out from Conlton, so he his banelings are actually delayed. He needs to just go for the nat. Don't worry about the other wings. Just go for the nat. Not sure what he's doing. Oh yeah, I think yeah, I think Reze with uh, the banelings now might actually be able to stabilize. That oh, so close. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait. Oh, oh no. Nice. Oh, not, not more lanes. And oh. more lanes for Reze now. I'm gonna push this back, and Reze actually taking a supply lead with more workers and more army supply, and things are gonna be hit. That was just so weird. Chronotrons had a oh, very hit. All right, now Reze went for a 17 pool. 17 pools, the safe ZZ opener. 15 hatches of cheese. Okay, thank you, Adapt, for giving us the knowledge. But Reze, yeah, Reze was still was kind of odd because he was majorly delayed on his speed. But anyways, yeah. the um, Chronotrons just didn't, instead of targeting the nat roll, kind of danced around with his wings for a while. And now the Banes are coming in. He's losing a lot. Oh, good oh, wraparound. Oh, the flank! And there's only one ling. Four chronotons. And things are getting kind of wonky. There is no bay bus, And there is nothing that can stop these lings. As of oh, now. Oh, my goodness. But... Escalated quickly. Again. I don't... That was a weird game. Oh, but these banelings gonna go into the main. Four workers going down here. Kind of overhyped that a little bit, but the banes <laughs> looking for the drones. And he beautiful. Oh, look at the GG. He's cold. GG is cold. And Rize takes game number five. Welcome to the cage match. Created <laughs> by Warhawk. <laughs> Yeah, cage matches work. Why couldn't they? <laughs> sort of the office. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so that was just kind of at a loss at what happened in that game. But is this the third ZBZ? No, second, I think. Mm. That was the second, but this will be the third. Snap is our yep. ace player. Ah, uh, yeah. Now Snap won the last clan war with a um, ZBZ ace match, yeah. which he. Nailed. Against Havoc, but reason I believe in you, buddy. Come on. All right. <laughs> no bias, though. Snap, I see. God, okay. Like, murder him. No bias. <laughs> <laughs> Throw him to the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, Snap's picking. And, um, yeah, I, I fully expect Snap to take it to the ace. Um,. He's a good ZBZer. Known Snap for a long time. He's been a player in Sykes for forever. Seems like. <laughs> yeah, I play, participates in a lot of clan wars and team leagues and even tournaments. So, yeah, really good player. I mean, Snap needs to take his pick. I think he was even in like clan wars that I organized like back in the summer last summer, and he was like my consistent go-to diamond. Might have been high partner. No, like a just player. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, if this goes to the ace, we're gonna have to see. We're gonna see an H match. ZVZ on red shift. Uh, not uh, okay. I just don't want like that map. For... <laughs> red shift is weird. Maybe I don't know. I honestly <laughs> forget who's going on. All right. I think red shift was created in some country where LSD is legal. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> or maybe not legal, who oh, no. Um yeah. Alright, Snoopy. Let's do the intros, bud. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Just make them quick because my my mouse scroll wheel like will die. <laughs> Dream Weaver catcher. <laughs> Oh, wait, that, that's one of those little things people put on their dashboards. Yeah, or... it's supposed to make me go to sleep. It's in the, I forget where, I believe it was just saying in First First Nations, it's supposed to make all the bad dreams go away. Anyway. Wait, like Indians or something? Yeah. I don't understand. Okay. All right. So here's Bonnie. <laughs> no, all right. We have the bird bro, bro, sir. Represent the Zion, I got the man. It is Snappy. <laughs> the crowd. The crowd was just too loud. We couldn't hear you. <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> and spawning in the upper left hand corner as the pigs are it is Fluid Gaming's Reezy! <sighs> Alright, well done. <laughs> another match, it way another great I intro. I, gotta say. I feel like ZVZ, I, just, I have no oh, clue what I'm doing. Casting. <laughs> Salivan, I, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm contesting you for your role as a uh, intro king, okay? <laughs> I think because most of the people in Cyx are not hype casters. I don't think, like, I, can, I don't remember anybody being a mega hype caster. I, I, I just try. I, I, I'm a tasteless wannabe, okay? Like we're, we're pretty <laughs> mellow. Just like you know, mm -hmm. it's over here. Snap XT for sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even like Ming, I don't remember him. Huge hype caster. So, what are we looking at for builds here? Pretty much the same. Uh, earlier gas <laughs> for snap. That's all we call it now. The, s the same. <laughs> it is like. Let's <laughs> call it spade a spade. It's just. By the way, easy. I see it. I think snap is looking for banelings and. Rize is not looking for banelings quite yet. I don't know. I think he might have to go for a fast rehatch. I don't know. I'm not going to be so true. Anyway. Okay. That's all that matters is that standard. And that makes for the best EVZs when nothing too crazy it goes on and we get to see the whole thing play out. Actually, crazy stuff can happen because it usually does. But it's sometimes nice to see those like slower starting at EVZs and then that kind of hypes up. So... Yeah, okay, so Snap actually, I mean, this is the relatively big difference. Um, Snap went for a much faster, um, oh, sorry, no. So Snap's speed is way faster. Um, yeah, Rize is and doing... also has, oh my god, Rize still hasn't started his speed yet. Yeah, he Rize... needs to remember speed. Rize's map, like, he's banking, actually, floating. Yeah, I actually like this from, I actually like this because uh, this map is the, the natural is actually easy to wall off, so you don't really need to go into that Ling Bing Ling war, you just go straight into Roaches. And just go across the map and just kill your opponent. Also, True. Snap actually play, taking the bayonets. I think it's more of a safety bayonet because he took a third behind it. Yeah, and the Roach Warren is coming down for Rize, so it's going to be Roaches versus Lings, and I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure Roaches beat Lings in small numbers. Mm -hmm. but of course, if there's like so many Lings, eventually they will beat them, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, now it will be in Rize's best interest to actually snipe down that rock in the middle of the map. Because uh, it kind of screws up with the pathway, and that actually makes it so that links, the speed links, are better in uh, in the you know in the early game. But if you break down that rocks, you got a straight path with the roaches. And, oh, actually, no wait. Oh yeah, there's a rock. Oh wait, what? Actually, the rocks does not actually block it. So screw whatever I just said. Forget what I just said. <laughs> the mid rocks block themselves. Yeah. This is an interesting yeah. design. Yeah, I actually haven't played. I actually vetoed this map, so I have not played much on this. So I actually did not know about that rock opening there but it looks like it was closed but anyhow it looks like it's actually open and uh so far Ooh, oh getting the angle oh, though oh getting the angle on the queens that was clutch oh oh right. chance he's though these bane lanes looking for the connections the link sling it here the first two merchants will be oh the bane had a good angle and then it threw it away what's going on oh, oh. gets nine drones there that's huge the Lings are running rampant. They're going to get another queen. So far, three queens and 12 drones have gone down, and the number is climbing. Yeah. So, I mean, Snap, I mean, Rizzi gambling, not getting speed. Um, but that that did not pay out from there. And now Snap has a third third base, and with a defensive Bane Nest, he should be okay. Well, he's, only... got, he's got his own Roach Warren, so he's, he can even make Roaches himself. Oh, true. So, yeah, he's he's uh, doing fine. Oh, yeah. Well, there like, will be an upgrade lead for Rize. And speed and his war speed will actually finish too. Although Raya Snap needs to get over there. Um, he doesn't want to lose this third. Oh, yeah, these lanes are gonna funnel in. Okay, getting on top of some of the roaches is nice. <gasps> these lanes are kind of like a barrier. He wants he wants the lanes to soak up the damage so the roaches can do their thing. That's what he's trying to do. Okay, so snap. Oh, this is a weird attack for snap. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, weird defense. Yeah, I think he was just trying to buy time for the roaches. The roaches finally going to get in here, and I think he will barely just save that hatchery from going down, which is a big win because uh, Rizay doesn't even have a third base of his own yet. Yeah, and hatcheries are quite strong, so, you know. Okay, now he's taking a third, and he does have an upgrade lead and speed, so this ro he can he can afford to like get some ro more roaches because three more are on the way, and plus two along with that. Um... The army supply, I think it's going to really come down to queen positioning, upgrades, all that kind of stuff. Now Snap, he saw the third. So he knows it's there. And honestly, with this road force, he can dive on it. He's morphing some Ravagers, too. Yeah. And um, Snap did win the last ace match with his Roach Ravager Micro. Um, he's going to be bringing it again. And the supply, he has a quite a big supply lead. About 20 in the army. Here we go. The recrosive Biles needs to land them. Oh, sorry about the delay there. Okay. Roach is getting on top and losing all the Ravagers. But the Ling's streaming in for Snap with the speed Ling's getting on top of the Roaches. It's not going well. Now the Queens are vulnerable. Any more Roaches are on the way. He needs to wait for this, for this backup. He's trying to make, he's trying to make it through. And he's actually going to save like five of these roaches, which is really good. Um, eight more. Actually, 11 on the way. 12. Okay, more popping out. He might need to, need to pull the boys to hold this. Ooh, nice cross of bile on some drones and roaches as well. Um, Snap maybe getting a little bit overextending here. Um, uh, yeah. I oh, think but this cross of bile. Nice one. He's in, two he's in two reinforcement lines. I don't think he should be doing that. I think he should have gone for the third. And also an upgrade lead. For Rizay, and actually, with the, they're pretty even on workers, and there is quite a bit of an upgrade lead for Rizay right now, so he's not in a terrible position, but he is in a little bit of a worse position. But now, oh, gross bile, maybe? No. Mm, All that right. whiffed. Okay, so yeah, I, d I really dislike that from Sap. He should have gone for the third there. Um, he probably could have. Oh my god, down. and plus two is actually finishing. Although, the wraparound. Zero. The losing the Ravagers, that's not good. Expensive. Oh, wow. Yeah, this round. Where's well, actually, definitely? barely yeah. dodging that bile. And more roaches. And actually, Snap is just pumping out lings. Yeah, oh, Snap needs like And this. now, the supplies are even. Upgrade advantage by plus two. And Rize is looking to do some damage. Gonna come in here. These legs looking for some damage. Actually, may, um, shouldn't have, maybe he should have gone like the third. Like Gorgonos was saying on the other side of the map. However, this upgrade lead is really paying off for Rize. Oh, actually, Snap has some wings at the natural that he's not. He's just standing around there, just not doing anything. Yeah, that, that fight first went bad for Rize, but Snap uh, pushed out way too far. And now it looks like he might lose. Um, okay, Roach is going to be popping. And Banelings looking for some connections, but these Roaches, beautiful micro, and hits, and the Roaches in the front, so got some damage, and Rize, look at the close of this game with the upgrade lead. Okay, some Banelings, though, getting a decent detonation, um, I don't know, GG, and Rize takes the game and the ace, let's go Rize, second ace of your, I don't know, if second ace in Validity Gaming, taking it. All. Anyway, Ouch. That man, one, that was a great game. That one hurts for Snap. I think that was a definitely winnable game for him. Yeah. I think Rize took too much of an upgrade league and lead, and uh, Snap did play exceptionally well, but I, like you said, I think he went a little bit too heavy um, pushing into that base. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he, there's not... I mean, you're pushing into this place where he has queens and two reinforcement lines. That's not going to be as effective as the undefended base. So, you know, just a, a quick quick, um, quick decision making there did not work out for a snap. So, Rize is going to win that. And like you said, Rize did have the upgrade lead, so everything just snowballed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, congrats to uh, Valid G for uh, winning the clan war 4 to 2. Nice. Thank you for. Thank you for playing with us. That was nice. This is the tiebreaker for our climbers, and I'll have to get another one set up. Just um, wait. We'll I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be back. Um, CTL, we'll look for the that. Uh, Team League's actually going to be stirring up very soon, so probably Clan Wars may start dying out a little bit as we get closer and closer to that. 
um, go or to the end of the off season of Cl- Clamorous because I believe on that something I forget what it is. I think VTL. Oh no, maybe CTL. Something starts June, some early, early June. So I think that's CTL. Yeah, I think that is CTL too. Mm-hmm. Well, um, yeah. So thanks, thanks everybody for watching, for tuning in. We got a decent viewership um in the chat land fear all those guys um thanks to everybody who played all the players from both sides who showed up today and made tonight fun um thanks for casting with me snoopy and warhawk and um if, if you guys don't have any final words i will um close it out i just want to say thank you for doing the climb with us it was a very fun always fun to do these and we'll have to get another one set up very shortly yep thanks uh yeah we'll see you guys soon yep take it easy guys